Today I want to show you the new charging curve of the new Volkswagen ID3 Pure with the smallest battery. So before the Pure uh, previous of 2024 it had a 55 kilowatt hour battery and it still does but before only 45 kilowatt hours were usable for driving now it's 52 and I think it's a new battery a new chemistry or they just updated a lot of stuff because the new charging curve is way better and looks really good so we're gonna look at the screen that I filmed off Ionity when I did a charging session from 4 to 90 percent and then we compare it to the old pure the old pro and the new Pro that just came out. If you need a driver's logbook for your EV for work and you don't want to write everything down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in a browser you can see all of this data. Where did you drive, how many kilo uh, kilometers did you drive, how many kilowatt hours did you charge at certain points, and then you can specify this was for work and this was private. And you can also use Tronity for a whole fleet of EVs for your business, so you can see if the car has been charged at home or on the road for example. If you want to know more there's a link in the description below. And here we go, started at 4%, like I said, goes up to 130, 140 kilowatt at 10% and we get to a peak of 152 kilowatt, it's going to be there in a second, there it was, at 21% and then we slowly go down. And now it's important, how far does it go down? So when is 100 kilowatt reached? And I think it was around 40 something percent. It's going to be there soon. There we have it, 44%. That's way better than the old Pro when you're going to see the charging curve in comparison soon. And then slowly goes down, 90 kilowatt at around 50%. And you have to think, it's a 52 kilowatt hour battery. That's really good. 80 kilowatt, it's around 60. And 70 kilowatt, where do we have it? At... 67% and then it goes down and down. Even above 80% we still get good charging power, so above 50 kilowatt, which is amazing, like I said, for this small battery. Now we're almost at 80% and we still get 56 kilowatt. That's really great. The uh, voltage is lower than in the Pro Pack, understandable. We started with the comparison with the old Pro, but around 40 volt less. And then at 90%, I stopped, still 47, 46 kilowatt at 90%, which is amazing. And here's the curve, and as you can see, the same as what we've just seen on the screen. It goes up with a few steps, but then gradually goes down. It's perfect. We love a curve like this that doesn't whoop, goes down extremely fast. It slowly goes down, and like I said, even uh, above 50 kilowatt to, to over 80% and 100 kilowatt around 45%. That's just, that, that's amazing for a battery this size. The comparison to the other cars. In this curve now I have in red the old Pure, in blue the old Pro, even though with software 2.4 where it was better. Then the new Pure we just did is in yellow and in green is the new Pro, the 59 kilowatt hour battery that came out last year. And as you can see there was something wrong with the charger. All the curves are following the same pattern. Uh, going down perfectly. The Pro did it the most amazing uh, way and uh, the new Pro was just going down here and coming back up. For me it looks like there was something with the power infrastructure there or with the charger anything was going on where it couldn't deliver that power the same way or the battery you said oh I have to need cooling or I need the BMS did something wrong but I don't think that you should get this what you get here but still we see that the old pure was the slowest uh, old old pro was a bit better but the new pure even though it's a smaller battery was better than the old pro and the new Pro is even better when it would work the normal way. To the times 10 to 80 percent, that's always exciting. The new Pure, uh, Pure takes 25 minutes, it's the fastest, 10 to 80 percent, but also the smallest battery. <laughs> the, the new Pro takes 26 minutes, the old Pro 33 minutes, oh my god, and the old Pure 27 minutes which would have the smallest battery, only 45 kilowatt hours usable, but it took a long time, but the old Pro was just a horrible charging curve. It wasn't nice. 
The comparison with the kilowatt hours charge is of course the same way. Old Pure is all the way in the bottom, then the old Pro, then the new Pure, and the new Pro is the best. And we see the same thing then with the range. Since all four cars have the exact same consumption, they still have the same motor, they have different software, they have maybe a different chemistry in the battery, but they have the exact same form. I mean, facelift, I don't think it has a lot of difference the new facelift a tiny bit maybe not a lot so it gave them all the exact same consumption but the kilowatt hours charge and then i see a difference in range and then of course what we've seen with the kilowatt hours is the same thing that the new pro is the best but when we look at 100 kilometers charged in minutes the old pure takes 20 minutes for that the new pure takes uh, 13 minutes for that the old pro took over 15 minutes and the new pro the fastest under 12 and a half minutes so around 12 minutes i would say so from 12 minutes to the slowest was 20 minutes that's eight minutes faster from the new pro to the old pure that's just amazing you can see that here in the curve really really well so as you can see the new charging curve of the id3 pure with the new battery technology is really good a peak of 152 and then going down slowly that's really great for a battery this size you don't see that much in, in other cars they've done really well and we're gonna test this out i did range test and everything and now the charging test we're gonna test this out tomorrow tomorrow matthias and i are going to hamburg with it 800 kilometers there and then a day later 800 kilometers back and we'll see how the charging is how the car is doing with a range and everything <laughs> it's going to be very exciting if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye